There you are. There you are. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. It is the dog days of summer. So in today's video, we're doing some kayak fishing with my best friend, Craig. Old Craig's got a stock pond in his family that is pretty special, and it's just loaded with a lot of three pound plus largemouth bass. But it is still tough fishing this time of year, and this is when I like to get out the top waters early, early morning, right at sunrise, and then after nine o'clock, you're pretty much praying for a bite. And this is when soft plastics are a heavy part of the program. I like to throw worms, worms, more worms and worms for the next few months. There's something about worms, they just work fantastic in the summertime. And we got all kinds uh, with Guggen baits. So if you guys want to get some of the baits that I'm using in today's video or anything else, worms, craws, creature baits, whatever, GuggenSquad.com, you can always use my promo code LFG, save 10% off, not just baits, but the entire set. That's enough talk, let's get out on the water in the kayak and get to ripping some lips. Gotta figure it. Remember how to work this thing. She! Look at him feeding out here. Welcome back, buddy. Woo! Oh! Woo! Did you get bit? Oh yeah, baby, on a popper. Come on, Sally. I like crappie. Give a little toppy toppy. Right out in the middle for the old big summer fish. There you go, hey buddy. I was just sitting still, by the way. I was just sitting there. All righty, y'all out here early morning. A couple of buddies. I'm just starting off with a little popping style bait. The old bloop, blooper. And this lake is um, is actually stocked with crawfish. Oh, there was a boil up there. We gotta get that fish. Oh, there he is. There he is. Come here now, son. Come here now, son. You liked a little pause on that, didn't you? Just pulling me around in the kayak. I haven't been kayak fishing in a while. This is kind of fun. Just a totally different feel to it. Oh yeah, nice fish. Hooked up. Good one, huh? Yeah, he's pulling me around a little bit. Just, you know, beautiful three pounder. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I got double hooks too. Look how healthy this fish is, y'all. I mean, for a, you know, dang near August fish, fairly small mouth compared to the body size. That's just nice. That's just good to see right there. Look at that. Beauty. Fish is actually over three. It's chunked up. Frog? Nope. Old bloop bloop. Golly. I haven't got away from me there. A little reaction rod. That one was with the top water. Blooper out. Fish all good. See ya. Well, given the fact that there was not a frog blow up on the cypress roots out of the gate, I'm, I'm willing to bet that they're they're doing their little schoolie thing out deep. 
Okay. What's dude? Get that one Cast up. in there. Holy cow. I've missed that one ten times. Greg, get get on it. You throw that popper over there. That's him. That's her, baby. <laughs> oh! I'm gonna do a little whacking. Yeah, I think that's. And I will catch a big one. Just off the shore. Oh, there's one. Oh, man, little boy. Oh yeah. This is what you can catch when you try on a wacky worm. Look how healthy that fish is though. It's a very healthy little little young lad. Ah. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel that doink coming. Oh, I got something solid here. Big girl. There you are. That's dandy. Yep. Getting worked on the spinny spin. Uh, it's just a, it's decent. Strong as hell. <laughs> oh, come on now. You're not that big. You're not that big. <clears throat> Just strong. Oh, yeah. It's long. There you go. Have a nice day. Thank you very much. All right, little wacky. Sun is coming out. This is the time. This is where the worms and the jigs Start to do the damage. Just throw in off from the bank a little bit. We start getting in that four or five foot of water. This tapered grass line. Oh, there's one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh, what do we got here? What do we have here? Just a decent one. Oh yeah. 
Oh, you're so pretty. Ooh, give me that face. No, don't do that. Oh my goodness. Woo. Man, they are sucking that lunker log down. Just beautiful. Love to see it. We're just gonna do a little bit of worming while we've still got some shade line on these pockets. Get that mid depth. Like usually when the top water turns off, they're just, they're still, they're still kind of, they'll boil on top water, but they won't like fully eat it. That's when I love to throw something weightless like this. Doesn't have to be wacky style, but just something weightless, waste, weightless plastic. Oh yeah, this pocket is just, no, oh, it's tailor-made. Tailor made right now for a weightless. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, took my worm. God, he was running with it good. Hard thump, too. There's one. Little guy. Little bitty dude. Oh, there's a bite. Come on, baby. Yeah. I figured. I figured. Goodness, these little fish are healthy. All right, little dude. Go up. Oh, there's a bite. Oh, it's a little donker bite. A little rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. So there's a, there's a point that comes out here into the big part of the, the pond. It's real shallow. And I threw up there earlier. I didn't catch anything up top with the top water. So I'm gonna throw in this kind of mid-depth area. <clears throat> I'm gonna guess it's four or five foot deep. Transitioning out into the deepest part of the lake. And there should be some, some grass tapering out here. <clears throat> it's just a good, a good area for fish to hold. Kind of rush bait up on. Use as a little feeding platform. Yep, there's a bite. Oh God, that one felt good. That one felt good and my worm got all boogered up. Dadgummit. Worm got boogered. Let's see if I can get that fish again. That happens sometimes if you don't use a, a ring. <clears throat> I don't have any rings on me. I really like those new ones that can face your hook point uh, the right direction. I mean, number one, you get to get more fish out of your soft plastic, but number two, you just get a better hook set. You don't get that balled up situation that happens when sometimes when they clamp their mouth around it and they, you know, they smash it down and they kind of readjust your hook. There's one. There we go. Come on, baby. Little guy. Zipping around. Look at that strength. Yep. Just a little guy. No, it's a little bass. A little healthy guy.
I don't know. Not really. Just hit it really hard. No, I set the hook right away. Not, not very big, just very aggressive. They bite pretty good, don't they? Man, I mean, for the size, pretty incredible. Chunk. Look how fat that is, for summer bass. It's, yeah, it's not right. Yeah, I mean, I'm used to picking up bass this time of year and you're like, where, where'd all their weight go? Like long and skinny. Yeah, these are, you could feel, feel the chunk. If you guys ever get a bite and you miss the fish and you're trying to figure out if it's a big one or not, if you just get one thump, it's just a bonk, that's usually a good fish. If you get a dink, 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 like a couple little bites, usually a smaller fish, doesn't mean it's always that way but that's usually how it goes down. There's a bite. Oh my goodness. Little buddy. Come on now, be, be a stud, baby. Come on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, working. Working this new green series reel, y'all. Really been liking it. Come here. Oh, that hook is in that good position to go right in my hand. And I'll catch that fish every day of my life. 14 inch standard unit right there. Just jumped about three feet in the air when I hooked him. Awesome. Yeah, fishing that green series uh, spinning reel, and man, I've got no complaints on this thing. No complaints at all. Especially love the grip. The grip, man, it's like real tacky. It's wide. That's how I like all my reel handles to be. You grab a good old juicy largemouth, go catch that next one. You want a good solid grip on there. Yeah, but it, seriously, everything feels feels solid. Feels very solid. Good bail. Drags, not bad. Oh, I got another one. Little boy. Little boy. Oh my gosh, look at the belly on this thing. Dude. You need Jenny Craig. Actually, forget Jenny. Live your best life, dude. Look at, oh, he's got a little red coming out of his bum hole. He's been eating them crawfish now. Which, uh, this black and red color, y'all, definitely looks like that. I've actually caught fish out of here before that crawfish pinchers sticking out of their mouth none today but that one that i just caught even though he's a little guy he had like red doo-doo and you got red doo-doo you've been eating cajun food got that eight boys you got a big one? oh yeah Eight incher. Good 
Oh, he's bigger than an eight incher, but no eight pounder. Come here, give me that face. Give me that face. Ah, oh, man. All right, let that fish go. Just another beauty on the whack. I had to just go back to that wacky, man. I'm gonna do something very important right now and retie my line, because I've had four or five fish eat this thing like it was their last meal on earth. Fresh, fresh and clean, but our last lunker log. It's pretty good when you can go through a whole pack Whole pack in a day. Go to googansquad.com, use that code LFG. I can save 10% on my next stock up. Got sort of a steeper wall right here and sun's fully up, 9.30 in the morning. I'm thinking there might be some posted up, this little deeper spot. That's a good one. Ah, right by the boat. Oh, goodness. He's going out to sea. That's a good one. Come here. Oh, Dak. Ah. Yeah, I lost a big one. God, he was right on that deep, deep edge. Mm. Got no idea what happened on that last fish. Oh, it was a good one. It's the biggest one I've hooked all day. It's at least four. Looked like four and a half. Had a big old belly on it. I was already thinking about grabbing his lips and giving him a sniff. And then just pulled off right under the boat too. It's my favorite thing about fishing in a kayak is it's so quiet. You know, just pitch my bait out there and then the line starts moving, you know, two feet away from the boat. It's crazy. That's why kayak fishing is really stealthy. It's really fun. Great day on the water, y'all. Top water, as predicted, pretty much shut off right after sunrise. Had about a 30 minute window. Couldn't even get the frog going in the shallow grass. A lot of those fish have moved out and you'll start to see in the summer, especially fall, they'll group together, deep spots over points and They'll rush bait fish into shorelines and all sorts of schooling activity. But when you don't see them busting, it's a great time to drag a worm or maybe throw a weightless bait like I was today. Quick programming note, I've been doing kind of adventure style videos on Mondays and then I'll throw a vlog in there later in the week. But I've decided on Tuesdays, I wanna do a dedicated technical style video, a lot like what I used to do where it's strictly informational. We're getting down into the the technicals of a piece of gear that I'm using, a technique, whether it be in fishing, maybe it's hunting, maybe it's something else really cool that I've just discovered that I wanna share with you guys. So look for those videos on Tuesdays. And this next one coming up, I'm gonna break down my entire weightless rig setup. I know I've seen a ton of comments on what line are you using? I'm just gonna break down the entire thing from literally the hook all the way to the reel. So subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below and check me out on Instagram and the other socials as well. As always, God bless you in your outdoor adventures. Godspeed and I'll see you on the next one. There he is, little boy. Golly, these things are just future heavyweights.